Not from home. Oh, yeah. oh, aren't they pretty? Just hold it up for the camera so we can see. In the sun. The colours are just beautiful. That cools up. Hey guys, today we're going to talk about um, SCAD rigs. Um, these are SCAD. Marlin absolutely love these things. Um, all the big charter boats, um, anyone who's serious about catching Marlin, they go out and catch their own SCADs. Today I'm going to show you how to make a SCAD rig and uh, how we do it. So I'm just going to show you how to make a SCAD rig. Um, so what you're going to need is some 50 or 60 pound leader, um, some little squids, I like uh, green and pink. I normally just run a heap of green ones and I have a pink one on the end. And I'll show you why I do that later. Um, some 4 O hooks. I bought these from Tackle World. Come in a bag of heaps. So you tend to go through a few. You need a little piece of uh, pool noodle to put them on when you're finished. And obviously when you're out fishing, you're gonna need a paravane and you're also going to need a little snap clip to put on the end of your line. Rightio, so for your scad rig, you're going to need two, three metres of uh, leader material. We'll just cut that off. So um, about every foot up your line, you're going to make a snood. So we make a loop to make our snood. We create a little circle in the centre there. We twist that maybe four or five times. Like so. Take your loop back through the middle. Slowly pull it up. Give it a bit of spit. And that creates creates a loop about a foot up from the bottom. Okay, so on that loop, we're just gonna cut one of those and that creates a little tag. So with this tag, we're going to uh, put a squid on there. We cut the end off the squid and then we feed the squid onto that line. And then with that line, we're going to attach our hook, just a normal half blood knot, two, three, four, that will be enough. Back through the center, pull it tight, put a spit, pull it up, trim your little tag off, and that's created your first hook on your line. So when you repeat all that, you end up with a line that's full. We put a hook on this end and then you have a bunch of hooks coming off. As many as many or as little as you like, but I like to have them about a foot apart because the scad's about a foot long. So here's one that we've prepared earlier. I always put a pink one on the end and then I run greens about a foot apart so that the scads don't get too tangled up when you uh, bring them into the boat. So you, in this particular one, I've got three, four, five, six hooks, and that's attached to a snap swivel. So where the piece of pool noodle comes in handy is you start with your, you always start at the top, put your, um, your snap swivel at the top, and start winding on your line, and as they come up, you put your, your hooks into your pool noodle. And this is important when it comes time to get them off so that you don't have an almighty tangle. You just keep feeding these on as you go, just like this. Couple more.
and the last one we put on is the pink one. The pink one's important because when it comes time to take it off, you start with the pink one and you keep unwrapping it and it comes off nice and easy and you don't end up with a massive tangle. So when we go out scad fishing, we always like to have four or five of these uh, rigged up, ready to go. Okay, so when it comes time to fishing your scad rigs, um, you attach it to a power vane like this. You don't have to, you can just run them flat on the surface, but a power vane will actually pull it down into the water column. Um, you can let it out back as far as you like. We like it down about maybe 10 metres. Um, it pulls the, uh, the scad rigs attached to the top here, pulls it down into the water. When the scads eat the little rigs, it uh, pulls that like so, and it comes to the surface. Once it comes to the surface, obviously you know you've got some fish on, it's time to pull them in. Most of our scad fishing is done in between 15 and maybe 25 metres of water. Um, when you do hook up your scads, make sure you get them into the boat really quickly because um, mackerels and wahoos and things like that like to uh, eat them. So it's uh, when you do hook some up and you get them on, get them into the boat as quick as you can. Anyway, I hope this has helped you with uh, your scad fishing and uh, look forward to seeing you on the water. Quick hurry up. Oh yeah, I've got one. Oh. What have I got? You've got two. Oh, I've got like six, bro. I've got three on here. Fucking hell. <laughs> Scad for days. Oh. Yeah, baby. Oh, that's a nice one. Me, the line's full. Full of them. Scads, more scads, and more scads. Yeah. Oh, I've got six of them again. <laughs> oh. We've got the whole school. Just put them all on the deck. Just get them all in. Yeah, I've got a couple. Maybe.